Hey guys, how's it going? It's a great day outside. We're headed to grandma's house in just a minute. I've got to take some things down there. I told her I would come do some planting for her. Um, I actually I have so many roses right now that I thought grandma would appreciate some of the roses. So I'm going to bring her a rose. I'm going to bring her a couple other things from Monrovia. And then I'm also going to bring some stuff that I started in these bootstrap, like two inch pots, I think they are. Yeah, the two inch pots. <laughs> so let me turn the camera around, show you guys what we're gonna bring down there. I think it's gonna be good. And then I'll be able to give you guys an update on her garden bed also. So let me show you guys what we're gonna take down there. So I have kind of a menagerie of things I'm gonna grab. So I started these ones, well, I didn't start these ones. These ones came from the lawn and I put them in the bootstrap seed trays and I put these in here in like December and I'm gonna bring her four of these. These are scabiosa. They're really pretty when they're blooming. They're struggling a little bit because they're stuck in these containers. I should have potted them up. I have larger containers. I just didn't do it. Um, so I'm gonna bring her four of these to plant in the garden. I think that those will be really pretty. And then I'm gonna bring her some calendula also. This is the bronzed beauty one. And I think I'm gonna bring her two of these to go in her Vigo bed. Okay, calm down. And then I'm also gonna bring her one of the mahogany splendor hibiscus. This will be really pretty in her garden, I think. She's got a blank wall that could use some color and I just, this is gonna do so well out there. So, I mean, that leaf's not doing well, but the rest of it's doing really well, except for the dog hair. <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> and really quickly, these are the Scabiosa Blooms. I love them. I think they're so pretty. I grew a bunch of them last year, and these ones all self-seeded. So I don't know what color they're going to be, but I just, I think they're really pretty. So these were all started in the bootstrap two-inch pots, and then I've left them in these, which has been really, really handy to be able to, like, water seedlings and transplant things. And when this thing was completely full, all I would do is just kind of, like, I had all of these in here, I would just take one of these out and then I would fill it up with water, which was really nice. And then once the water came up from these holes and just filled up just a little bit, that's when I would stop filling it up with water. And then everything could bottom water, which I really think helped my plants out a ton. So um, shout out to these trays. If you're looking to get into the bootstrap farmer stuff, these things are super huge. I definitely would have had healthier plants if I potted them up. I mean, you can see the size difference in these. Quite a big size difference. And then these have a lot of like holes on the bottom to really help with like air pruning your roots and to be able to wick up a ton of moisture. So I should have potted them up, but I just didn't. I mean, these were still really happy. And just just to give you guys an idea, like these are these are tough. So good stuff. Let's go show you what I'm going to do for Monrovia. I have this rose right here that I want to take down to grandma's house. This is the Grayson Grits White Shrub Rose. It gets five feet tall, four feet wide. And I just love the like white color on this. And I thought it would be really pretty. Plus there are a ton of buds on this rose. So it's, it's ready to start rocking and rolling and it should flower here very, very soon. So I thought that this would be really pretty in grandma's garden. She's got an area that's full sun. And I just thought that this would be a really good rose in her back garden. Like I said, five feet tall, um, zones four through nine, and it blooms summer through fall. So let's go ahead and take this down to grandma's. And I was thinking about a butterfly bush, but I don't know how much room she has. So we'll have to like take a look. But I do think that I'm going to take a couple of these to her house. I picked these up. I picked these up a while ago. Um, they're from Lowe's. They were $7.48. I think I'm going to go get a ton more. I only grabbed three, and I think I'm going to take them down to Grandma's house. They're so bright. They're so pretty. These are the Super Cal Pink Pachoa. It's a Petunia hybrid um, from Monrovia. They get 12 to 16 inches tall and up to 36 inches wide, and they want full sun. And I thought that these would be really, really pretty in her garden. Look at that combination. I might plant these together. That's not where I was planning on doing it, but I think that that would be so gorgeous in her garden. So I've got three of these. I think I want to pick up a whole flat just for myself. So I think I'm going to go next week and pick up some more of these. I hope that they still have them. They had a bunch of other colors and I just want to, I just love it. I think it would be really pretty to have these up in the front window box. So we're at grandma's house and this is where we're going to do some planting today in this bed over here. This is full sun and I think I'm going to plant. She's got one rose there. Then right there, she has a crepe myrtle. She's got some palms. I think I'm going to try to move the palms back a little bit. And same with this one. I'll move one of these that has bacopa in it over to this side. And then we'll plant another rose on this side. So it's kind of like a trio and a trio of things. So it'll be 
two roses, two palms, two bacopas, and then the crepe myrtle. I'm thinking behind the crepe myrtle, I'm going to plant the hibiscus that I have, and that'll fill out this entire area in one growing season. And so I think that that'll be really good. And then I'm gonna plant in the ground a few of those other, um, the petunias that I've got. So let's get going. pretty good we got the three super cows and that should fill in this entire front area right here that is going to be so pretty that's the pink petticoat super cows and then i've got the mahogany splendor hibiscus tucked in <laughs> it's so tiny back there that should fill in and it should take off really fast now that it's getting full sun it's going to be really happy i love the red rose in here and then this side will be a white rose kind of like plays off of each other um, and then, so the white rose, that's going to be so gorgeous there and it's full of soil and all the yumminess, all the goodness. And then these are all being hand watered. I need to come out here and get this set up on drip for grandma and grandpa because right now they're just coming out with the hose and watering everything. So that'll be for another day though, is getting that all set up on drip irrigation. Um, she's already coming out and watering everything anyways, but I think that looks pretty good. And then these are grandma's Vigo beds that you guys saw us install. Everything's looking really, really great and starting to really take off. I am going to put a calendula in each of these just as kind of like a trap crop and they do get pretty flowers. So I'm gonna put one of these in each bed and that should kind of like cascade down. I was thinking kind of in that corner there and maybe in this corner over here, just kind of right on the edges.
is grandma's vegetable garden that she's doing this year. She's got zucchini. She's got tomatoes. These are cool. Called Big Rainbow. Hmm. Can't wait to try those ones. And then look at this little strawberry tower. She said she got these from the Dollar Tree. They were a buck twenty-five a piece. And then she just popped some strawberries in there. And look, she's already got strawberries coming. So um, I thought that was a really cute idea to do strawberries, take up very little space, and grow them inside of a planter where you're already gonna grow like tomatoes, zucchinis, and just do a small little tower. That's perfect. all fill out the petunias are gonna be so pretty there and then the rows kind of mirroring the other side very symmetrical different colors but then ties back in i think it's gonna be really really pretty especially once that mahogany slender hibiscus fills this entire area out it's gonna be a very full and beautiful bed and i'm expecting these to kind of hit the border this one will probably spill out just a little tiny bit the lighting is terrible right now and i'm sorry about that we're getting some dappled light from some of the trees and then over on this side, I planted the scabiosa over here, just kind of tucked in. So I brought four of them. I thought I brought five, but I guess I brought four, which is fine because that back one has two, and then each of these two front ones has two. So there's kind of a lot in here anyways. And then this should fill out this entire thing and kind of like mask some of the fence a little bit. And I think that that's going to be really, really pretty. And the update on the Vigo beds, everything is filling in. The creeping Jenny is starting to creep over which is what we wanted. Everything's looking great. I forget the name of what these flowers are, but they are really, really pretty. She picked those up at like Lowe's. Everything's just looking fabulous. Look at this Creeping Jenny's really filling out. And then the Calendula that we got planted should fill out and look really, really good. Snapdragons are still blooming. So Vigo beds looking great and uh, everything's all on that automated water, which is really nice. So that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. I got some other things I got to do today, and it was a good day. We were planning on also moving one of those stock tanks to this area right here that my grandparents have the fish in. They got new ones. You can see the one. That's one of their old ones right there. It got a hole in the bottom, and so they want to use it for... Um, so they want to use them for like a little planter. I think that that would be really cool. So we are going to move one of them over here, but that's going to be for a later day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.